Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. We're thrilled to have you with us today as we delve into the fascinating world of donkey farming. Join us as we visit the world's largest donkey farm and explore the incredible process of donkey product manufacturing. Make sure to watch the entire video because we have something extraordinary in store for you at the end. So, sit back, relax, and let's get started. The biggest donkey farm in China is situated in Xinjiang. Let's dive in and discover the amazing aspects of this unique farm. The baby donkeys are raised on the farm, where they receive special care and attention to support their growth and development. In addition to physical care, the young donkeys are socialized with humans and other animals. This helps them adapt to different environments and become accustomed to human interaction. Through this comprehensive approach, the farm ensures that each donkey grows up healthy, strong, and well-adjusted. Now let's take a closer look at the daily routines and care practices that contribute to the exceptional quality of life for these young donkeys. An essential component of a donkey's diet is fresh, mature grass. It must be clean and free of pesticides and chemicals to ensure the donkey's health. While natural pasture is ideal if it's unavailable, high-quality grass hay is an excellent substitute. Year-round access to good quality hay is crucial for donkeys. It provides the necessary fiber to maintain a healthy digestive system. Varieties like Timothy or orchard grass are preferred over legume hay. Hay is the backbone of a donkey's diet, ensuring they get the fiber they need every day. While straw can be included in a donkey's diet, it should not be the main component. Straw has fewer nutrients compared to grass or hay, so it should be fed in moderation. Straw can be a useful supplement, but it should never replace the more nutritious options. The farm has a dedicated section for the production of donkey milk, an increasingly popular ingredient in the Chinese market. Donkey milk is renowned for its nutritional value, being especially rich in vitamins, minerals, and essential fatty acids. It is considered a valuable component in various health and beauty products. To ensure the highest quality and efficiency, the farm employs specialized techniques such as donkey milking machines. These machines are designed to extract milk from lactating donkeys while ensuring their comfort and well-being. In addition to breeding and production, the farm places a strong emphasis on research and development in their donkey milk production line. Another significant advantage of donkey milk 
is its potential medicinal properties. It has been used for centuries in traditional medicine, praised for its healing benefits and nutritional value. The farm leverages these properties, ensuring the highest quality milk is produced for both health and beauty products. The farm plays a crucial role in meeting the growing demand for donkey products in China. By implementing modern and efficient breeding techniques, the farm ensures the production of high-quality donkeys. Impressive population of over 100,000 donkeys, including both male and female specimens of various breeds? The facility is meticulously organized into multiple sections, each designed to cater to the unique needs of different age groups and purposes of the donkeys. The breeding section, in particular, focuses on producing healthy and genetically diverse donkeys. The farm maintains the highest standards of animal care and breeding practices, ensuring that each donkey is raised in optimal conditions. Let's take a closer look at how this remarkable farm operates and the innovations that make it a leader in donkey farming. The journey begins at the farm, where donkeys are carefully selected for transportation. Using specialized cranes, the donkeys are gently lifted and transferred into transport vehicles. Once secured, the donkeys are transported in well-ventilated trucks to maintain their well-being throughout the journey. The processing phase begins with skilled workers preparing the donkeys for meat production. The carcasses are then moved to the processing line, where the meat is carefully butchered, trimmed, and inspected for quality. The meat cuts are meticulously packaged in hygienic conditions to ensure freshness and safety. Experienced butchers trim the meat, removing any excess fat and ensuring the highest quality cuts. The meat is then inspected to meet stringent quality standards before proceeding to the next stage. Once the meat is prepared, it moves to the packaging section of the facility. In this section, the meat cuts are meticulously packaged in hygienic conditions. Each piece is carefully wrapped to preserve freshness. After packaging, the meat is labeled with detailed information, including weight, cut type, and expiration date. The packages are then sealed to ensure they remain fresh during transportation. Donkey leather is utilized to create a variety of robust and enduring products, such as wallets, belts, shoes, and bags. This type of leather is particularly valued for its durability and resistance to wear and tear.
Donkey leather is then crafted into a variety of durable and long-lasting products. It is used to make wallets, belts, shoes, and bags, all known for their strength and resistance to wear and tear. The leather's exceptional durability makes it a favored material for these items. In China, donkey meat is highly regarded for its nutritional value, which is believed to boost physical health and increase strength. Many people believe that consuming donkey meat can enhance the immune system, improve physical vitality, and nourish the body. Thank you for watching and we hope this video will help you understand more about donkeys. Here is not a place for the faint-hearted. This is the realm of the most dangerous creatures on the planet. Millions of venomous scorpions are lurking in the darkness. What is the purpose of this place? Why would anyone want to cultivate such a vast number of scorpions? These are female scorpions reproducing. They have been separated into individual cups, separating mother scorpions and their young into individual cups allows breeders to easily monitor the health and development of each individual. Scorpion offspring carry their pregnancies for several months and can produce between to 80 babies. Uniquely, after being born, the young scorpions remain attached to their mother's back until they molt at least once. The mother scorpion carries her newborn offspring on her back. These juvenile scorpions have soft exoskeletons and pale coloration upon birth. Due to their vulnerability and lack of self-defense, it's essential to isolate them to prevent cannibalism. Baby scorpions need to be raised separately to avoid being eaten by the mother scorpion. They should be separated and raised independently about one to two weeks after they molt. Millions of juvenile scorpions are molting and are about to be screened and separated into a distinct environment. Please comment number one to let me know that you'll be with us until the end of this. About 10 days post-birth, the baby scorpions are able to descend to the ground and start fending for themselves. Meanwhile, their mother resumes mating and birthing. It takes roughly six months for the baby scorpions to grow and reach maturity. Once they are one to two years old, the scorpions will begin producing venom.
Scorpions are cold-blooded animals, so controlling the temperature of their breeding environment is crucial. They prefer a dry environment and should avoid excessively damp conditions during reproduction. To successfully cultivate this animal species, it's crucial to grasp both their reproductive methods and natural behaviors. Based on the variety and quantity of scorpions, one can establish an appropriate breeding environment. Scorpions have small appetites and prefer eating small tender animals like mealworms, earthworms, fly maggots, and cockroaches. They typically eat once every five to seven days and consume only one mealworm per feeding. It's important to provide enough food so that there's a surplus after feeding, preventing hunger and cannibalism. When breeding scorpions on a large scale, a stable source of feed is essential, and it's best to also cultivate mealworms. Scorpions are valuable medicinal organisms. Up to 150 patented Chinese medicines use whole scorpions as an ingredient. In recent years, medical research has discovered that scorpions can also treat impotence and have certain aphrodisiac effects. The economic potential of scorpion venom is significant with the ability to generate billions of dollars annually for the scorpion farming industry. To stimulate the scorpion and induce venom secretion, an STI charge is applied, resulting in the release of one or two drops of a milky white fluid. On average, a scorpion will produce about two milligrams of venom per day which is then harvested and stored in a specialized container. Scorpion venom contains many compounds with significant potential applications in medicine. Scientists are studying these compounds to develop treatments for diseases such as chronic pain, cancer, Alzheimer's, stroke, and other conditions. Scorpion venom. Scorpions are a popular street food in Thailand. This dish attracts tourists with its uniqueness, novel flavor, and the adventurous experience it offers. Tasting crispy fried scorpions is a unique and exciting experience for those who enjoy exploring culinary delights. Scorpions are also prepared in various other dishes. Each dish has a unique flavor that attracts diners in its own way.